Harper Township Committee is being videotaped for broadcast. Due to either time that may be held in closed session pursuant to the New Jersey Open Public Meeting Act, there may be interruptions in the videotaping of these proceedings. This meeting will be aired by EHT TV Channel 97 on September 19th. Very good. Thank you very much. Could everybody please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance? Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Could I have a roll call, please? Joe Cafaro? Here. Ray Ellis? Here. Paul Hudson? Yep. William Pauls? Here. Laura Farmer? I am here. And the first thing I get to do tonight <laughs> is to honor a very special person. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you didn't tell Maybe. me that. Miss <laughs> 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 Janice oh, Hughes. Oh, oh. Janice looks like she's 29, but she's been here for 30 years. So, longer. Longer. Yeah, you were. You were part time when you started as a student. Yeah, I was sixteen. She was sixteen when she started here. So. She has working papers. I know. So what we're gonna do is you and I are gonna go to the front. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Okay. I like that. Now, Mr. Cafaro is going to read something into the record. Well, one thing inter interesting, she's 16 and she's an electric bike now. I caught her riding her bike <laughs> <laughs> on one of our streets. Why are they doing this? I'd like to invite your family to come up too. Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> come on up. I, boys, they both here? I see one. Oh, oh there he is. is. Mom? That's yeah. better. That's much better. Oh, gosh. Oh, that's a baby boy. Oh. Listen, our, import, our employees are very, very important to us, and they do an outstanding job. And when I first got elected and came in, she was the first person I saw when I came in. And she was a godsend to me. And to each and every one of us is when we started. You know, you kind of, we were like great as you could get. And she helped us every time we had a question and even guided us to do the right thing. So we greatly, greatly appreciate everything that she has done. And Joe. Well, thank you. Thank you, Laura. <laughs> this year, we have the distinct honor of recognizing Janice Hughes for an exceptional 30 years of service in the township of Egg Harbor. Mrs. Hughes began her journey with us as a participant in the high school cooperative business education program, which laid the foundation for a remarkable career. After graduation, Janice joined us as a temporary employee and was officially hired full-time September 1st, 1994. Over the years, Janice has been a pillar, and yes, she has, of our community, demonstrating unwavering de dedication and commitment. In 1998, her contributions earned her a spot as a finalist for Employee of the Year. This was just the beginning of a career marked by numerous achievements, including being named Employee of the Year in 2012. In 06, Janice took on the critical role of secretary to the township committee, a position which solidified her reputation as a valued team member. Janice's skills and dedication were further recognized in April of 2015 when she was promoted to deputy township clerk, a role that she continues to perform with excellence. One of Janice's significant contributions was her involvement in the team that updated and modernized our township wedge page. I want to get off message for a moment because back then it was going to cost us somewhere between fifteen and twenty thousand dollars to hire a vendor to do that. Janice and the team did it for free. They just did it. They're working here, and in the end, I believe there was uh, one of the state universities had raided all of the all of the all of the websites of all the municipal all municipalities in New Jersey and we ranked if and Janice you'll you'll know this better than I I believe we ranked in the top 15%. So that that was a significant thing uh, not only with the quality of work but the saving of funds. So where are we? One of, uh, so we recommend helping to keep our operations current and efficient. Janice Hughes was not only a dedicated employee, but also an asset to the township government's operations, always willing to assist fellow employees and go the extra mile to ensure our community's needs are met. 
As we celebrate this milestone, we extend our heartfelt gratitude and appreciation to Janice for her exceptional service and valuable contributions over the past three decades. Your dedication and our hard work have made, you a, have made a lasting impact and we look forward to many more years working together. Janice, thank you. Oh, you have. I think, yeah. I think each and every one of us owe oh, you a debt of gratitude. <clears throat> and we all commend you for the first of all. So, you know, you did a lot for all of us, and we're very proud of you and very happy. I still can't believe you're 30 years here. Well, actually, more than 30 years. It's crazy. So, <clears throat> how did that happen, Mom? It's yeah. like. But, you sure you don't want to say anything? Anybody in the family want to say anything? <clears throat> I'm very proud of you. Her husband used to be our chief of police. He was our last chief of police. So I got one question. Is it a speed armor on your electric bike? <laughs> yeah. Okay. And you know my question. Who is my grandma? Oh, she's a God knows. You give her a hug for me. But we just want to thank you. And I know you just want to sit down. Like <laughs> <laughs> And, and you know what, Janice, just so you know, and I know you already know this, tomorrow this will air on Channel 97. <laughs> 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 she did not. I had to make it down, but she did not. But now the next thing we're going to do, and I might as well just do it from right here, and Mr. Caffaro is going to read a proclamation. Yes. We have a wonderful group of athletes in the back who have made us so very proud. You know, it's been a couple of years. You keep making us very proud. We just can't wait to see what you do next year. But, uh, Joe, would you like to read? Sure, it'd be honored. This is the A. Harvard Township 16 and under all-star softball team. Whereas, it is the dream and aspiration of every softball player to compete in the World Series. And, whereas, the Egg Harbor Township 16 and under all-star softball team worked hard as a team, sacrificing their summer in pursuit of their dream. And whereas the Township 16 and U All-Star softball team won both the state 3-0 and regional 6-0 championships, securing their spot in the World Series tournament in Florence, Alabama. Whereas the Township 16 and under All-Star softball team showed an abundance of sportsmanship on and off the diamond, receiving sportsmanship team award, and whereas the following members of the Egg Harbor Township 16 and under all-star softball team, led by coaches Brett Struthers, Joe Viatello, and Chris Bianelli, I hope I pronounced that correctly, are deserving the recognition for their athletic skills and dedication to the sport of softball, which allowed them to realize every athlete's dream of becoming a, uh, a champion. Now, therefore, be it proclaimed that the mayor and township committee of Egg Harbor Township, County of Atlantic, State of New Jersey, wish to publicly recognize the Egg Harbor Township 16 and under all-star softball team for their outstanding accomplishments and pride which they brought to their hometown with their never give up attitude. Congratulations, ladies. So I'm Coach Brett. I'm Coach Joe. Coach Chris. All right, we'll start off. We'll, we'll go from right to left. We're going to go with uh, Madison Stickle. Oh, my. Hey, no. Now, can you tell us your position? 
Erickson. Yeah, most Eric. Yeah, yeah. Holly Erickson. Alfie. Yeah. Erickson. Alfie. Yeah. Next up, Macy Strummer, seven years. Next up, we got John Weichel, Alpha. Next up, we got Sophia Vitiello, catcher. We got Mia Sarney, pitcher and shortstop. Uh, next up, Lisa Matuska, catcher, passing. Uh, next up, Riley Kizalewski, outfield, passing. Next up, Nicole Harmon, outfield and third base. Right, next up, Gally Castro, pitcher and outfield. Right, next up, Sarah Lavolo, pitcher and uh, Uh, this is a special group of girls. Uh, I, I know at the 16 U level, they hadn't had an all star team in quite some time, so I figured we'd, we'd give it a shot and kind of put a Scrap group of girls together. And, and happy you come over on this yeah. side so you can all get on. We'll go on this side of the great There you go. Sorry. Oh, there you go. We're going to scooch in. We're scooch. We're scooch. I don't know. Overall, I just thought it was a great group of girls. We came from different parts of the town and you know, different, different age levels. And we, we had a little bit of magic fairy dust behind us where we went on a pretty good run, I think 11 and 0 run or 12 and 0 run, which is pretty hard to do. So um, a lot of good hitting, a lot of good pitching, a lot of good fielding, and we took it the distance. So other than that, you know, it was a special group of girls in my opinion. I think so too. We're all very, very proud of you. It takes a lot of work to get as far as you did and a lot of teamwork and a lot of sacrifice. Now, what, what grade are you on? Ninth, everybody's going ninth. Who's going up to high school? They're all in high school. Everybody's 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 in I have to apologize to the young lady because I go to the games, but they got a pulled pork sandwich at the refreshment stand. <laughs> <laughs> I go get the sandwich and forget about the game. I'm going to watch the game. I catch some good food out there. Y'all keep up the good work. That was a great tournament y'all had. Thank you, guys. That tournament was great. We had. Wow. Everybody look at that. That's Christina back there. It's like, <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. So when, when does spring season start? Thank you, folks. Back in April. April? Mm -hmm. Oh, cross yeah. bars, yeah. 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 We also want to give a shout out to the parents because to get to this level, there's a lot of parents taking people, taking all of you girls to the games, making sure you eat, making sure you get your homework done, making sure that there's you know gas in the car and food on the table. So 
we want to always want to thank the parents for all the involvement they have in your lives. They, we, they couldn't do it, or we, I shouldn't say it that way. We couldn't do it, you couldn't do it without them. So thank you, thank you very much. As your coaches, you know, Tomorrow, Channel 97, this will be on 7 o'clock tomorrow night. So, we'll see you again. And then we'll see you on the field in the spring. Hi, Joe. I, I didn't know you picked the soul call. Coach, yeah. Thanks, uh, congratulations, buddy. Congratulations, Coach. Congrats, Coach. Good job. Yeah. 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 Yeah, or you can stay for the meeting. <laughs> Ladies, you can leave if you want. Yeah. That's good. Christine? Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah. All right, buddy. All right, take care. See ya. Okay. If anybody's here for softball and would like to leave, they are more than welcome to leave now or they're more than welcome to stay. So either one works. But we're going to get moving. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to keep this going. Okay? Uh, let's see here. We have... No ordinances for public hearing tonight, no, and we have no ordinance for introduction. No, we have resolutions 411 through and including 422. Anybody have any questions on those? Seeing none, can I have a motion? So move. Second. Uh, roll call, please. Tafaro? Yes. Ellis? Yes. Hudson? Yes. Hall? Yes. Farmer? Yes. Uh, we have the, I'm actually going to do the add on first, resolution 425. Make a motion. Thank you. Uh, roll call, please. Cavaro? Yes. Ellis? Yes. Hodson? Yes. Halls? Yes. Farmer? Absolutely yes on that one. Uh, we have our bill list. Resolution 423, authorizing payment of all bills. Can I have a motion, please? I'll make it. I'll second it. Thank you. Roll call. Cavaro? Yes. Ellis? Yes. Hodson? Yes. Halls? Yes. Farmer? Yes. Approvals. Uh, can I have a motion to approve the monthly department reports for the month of August 2024? Make a motion. I'll second it. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion to approve the Township Committee meeting minutes for September 4th, 2024. I'll second it. All in favor? Aye. Aye. <laughs> Let's see. We're going to do, um, actually, I think right now I'd like to bring up Reed's Farm. Hi. Hi. So my name is Katie Mazzella. I work for the State Agricultural Development Committee in Farmland Preservation. Um, we buy easements on farms to preserve them in perpetuity. Um, as of um, last year, we preserved over 250,000 acres in the state of New Jersey. And we'd like to add Reed's Farm to that list. They came to me to apply um, for preservation. We don't usually work in Egg Harbor Township. As far as I know, this might be the biggest farm left in your township. It is. Um, and it seems to be an important part of, um, of the town. Um, so we, um, through our state acquisition program, will pay for this easement 100% with state funds. We're not asking for township cost share. And we do all of the monitoring. Every year we'll send someone from my office out to make sure they have not built um, things that they are not supposed to build. To build. So we buy all of the non-agricultural development rights from the farmland owners. Um, so there's an existing house on the farm that can stay. They can always replace that house um, going through all of regular municipal processes, um, but they cannot subdivide it and build 60 houses, um, like I think can be built there now. Um, and we offer cost shares for deer fencing, for irrigation, that kind of thing to support the um, kind of development of the farm. 
into the future. Um, How many acres included? 70-ish. 70? That's longer. Mm -hmm. So we'll preserve basically all of that. So under farmland preservation, what can the property be used for? Agriculture. It has to be open and available for agriculture. So you're not required to farm it, but you are required to keep it clear for farming into the future. Um, and uh, like I said, you can build how you can build agricultural labor housing if that's something that is required for the operation. You have to come to my board to prove it, and then again do whatever the town requires. Um, but you can build um, agricultural structures, barns, greenhouses, that kind of stuff that supports your um, ag operation. Question: You can, they, you don't allow it to go back to forest, right? It has to stay uh, right. open meadow. Yeah, that's the idea. Is that whatever is tillable. As of the day of preservation, it has to stay open and tillable. There's, we're gonna have to come up with some um, way to deal with that where there's kind of saltwater in inclusion on, on farms. I work mostly in Salem County, so that's happening a lot more kind of on that coast, um, but it has to stay open and available, yes. Which is good because you have a creek there and it'll catch the silt and things of that nature. Yep. For, you know, water quality. Yep. What kind of activities can be held there? Can they hold events there, private events or? They can, they can hold. Um, so the, the barns is in what we call um, an exception area. So our easement will not cover about an acre or two around the cafe part. Um, so that that, uh, we don't pay for that area, but it also doesn't have our restrictions on it. So they can do whatever um, they want to do in that area, according to, to us. They, again, they have to follow township, state regulations, all of that. Um, but. We have a new law that passed, I think two years ago, called the Special Occasions Events Law. So they can, again, apply to us to hold, um, it mostly is usually used for weddings on vineyards and that kind of places with big, beautiful old barns, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. um, but you can't build new buildings to hold these special occasion events. Um, you can, exist. they have to be at least five years old by the time you apply to us for the permit. And it's still limited to 26 events a year. There's a, a square footage limit and there's a uh, person in attendance kind of limit. Okay. And it's a it's a one-time payment to the landowner. Correct. Right? But it's for perpetuity? Correct. Right. And if you have any operational questions, they're here, but. They're here. Yeah. Uh, just kind of, it's more generic questions, I think, I've done. Yeah. Go ahead, you've got That property is both sides of this Spruce Avenue? Yep. Both, both clear fields now. Okay. Mary, that's the map I gave you that Katie yes. sent to me. Just to, uh, is there, if you have extras, there should be. Oh, uh, yeah, I do. I see it. There you go. So when the state gets a direct easement application like this one, we go to the yeah. County Ag Development Board. Um, Atlantic County Ag Development Board has already approved the preservation of this farm, and we go to a, a township to make sure that they don't have any big plans for this property, kind of planning wise, um, that they'd rather see this farm used for. Certainly would. And 50 years, 100 years down the road, this will always be a farm. Correct. And there's no way out of it once this, this goes on. As of right now, there's no way out of it. Well, that's true, as of right now. It'd be a major legislative change that would have to occur in order for um, them to change, you know, 3,000 deed of easements yeah. okay, good. that we have on farms. Could we have you guys come on off and just just say whatever you would like to say? I know you've all worked very, very hard, and I know you're very proud of this, so. Well, our, our dream, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm Why don't dream, you introduce everybody? I'm Barbara. Um, Cookie Till. Dave Stabinski. And that's the name. So five years ago, the three of us started this journey, and it's come to fruition everything that we dreamed about having here. And our dream is to keep this going in perpetuity. It's our legacy. Mm -hmm. Helping of the kids, being a community hub, bringing agriculture and, and food justice to the community. We just been given a grant by the state of New Jersey to supply food for Atlantic City for the next three years. So our vegetables are going to be feeding kids in Atlantic City. We're aligned with so many schools in the area. The Boys and Girls Club in Atlantic City comes out there. We teach the kids about farming, eating healthy. So this is our legacy. Yeah, you know, everything that we're doing is for the community. And you know, the way we set the, the, our bylaws up, we get nothing from this. We can't get a salary, we can't even get reimbursed our expenses. 
this is purely out of our heart. And this woman here has been instrumental. And if it wasn't for her, it would never would have happened. And we're so grateful if you could approve this because we need a resolution from you guys to let them move forward. I would like to add one thing, aside from, from your talents as a restaurateur, but um, what I, I'd like to add is if in the future, if you can work with our Egg Harbor Township Nature Reserve Committee to build a pollinator garden, a garden for butterflies and mm -hmm. bees, you know, wildflowers. And we're, we're doing a couple of them right now mm -hmm. over at the Nature Reserve. We'd love to have one out there. We would love to work with them, but and we have that in our plans too. Because, Wonderful, because the so more important. we get, it's just you know we're just trying to create an ecosystem, a balanced ecosystem. Mm -hmm. So the pollinator gardens are great, yeah. and I would love, and that's what we're there for too, just to work with the community in any way. Yeah. So if there's someone that I can connect with yes. there, I would love that. We will definitely be in touch. Thank you. With him. Oh. <laughs> Perfect, <laughs> Mr. Rivera. I would like to know who makes the pies. <laughs> you had a pie. You had a pie. You had a pie. Working reeds formed like it did it until I retired. Don't ask me why. I used all produce to uh, Newark for Wake Fern and uh, Pathmark. I think Bob and Billy, okay. probably looking down on this today, would be pretty happy with what's occurred because they work. I just have to. They work like dogs over the years, not the Janice didn't, and more, uh, Marcia, Marcia. Uh, I went to high school with Marcia, um, they worked hard too, but I think as it's unfolded today, I think they'd be very happy that it's there. And like she said, it's something about the deer, deer fence. I've seen a lot of deer in the field, and I don't think it would have been there if Bob was outside. <laughs> so, I mean, Lenny, I mean, good luck, Cody, good luck. Thank you. Yeah, it was important to us to, to keep that heritage alive, and that's why we named it Reed's Farm. We didn't think yeah. that there could be a better name for and it. even Mrs. Yeah. Reed, too, when, when she was yeah. old. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the, the, the flowers we plant in front, when we first started the farm, that's in homage to Billy, because Billy always had the flowers in the front. Mm -hmm. Well, the mm -hmm. other thing yeah. is, I don't think you have, you have any peacocks? Now we're talking peacock, about you know. peacocks, though. He had peacocks. Yeah, I heard. That's, a, that's another story, not for public. <laughs> but the thing is, um, he had, you know, they would get loose, and uh, how he got them back to Spruce, Spruce Avenue, quite interesting. But I mean, it's, it's good to see the farm animals, and it's all good stuff. Mayor, can I say something? Absolutely. Uh, growing up in Hay Carver Township, I spent a lot of years on a reach farm. Mm -hmm really makes me feel happy that this is happening uh, i go back one more generation to the father ed yeah. i know him very well anytime my father used to pull over to the side he would come up and he always had a tomato to give me and i sat in the truck eating a tomato but i got some great memories of reef farm very happy for you thank you and it was a lot of hard work we know that because i remember the first meeting we had i think peter was still here yeah. Um, it was a long time ago. So, yeah. It's a long way I mean, to get here. You're, you're talking to a committee that uh, my wife and I have been in the township for 39 years, and we're the babies on this committee. <laughs> I mean, these guys go back 50 years, 40 years, 45 years, you know. <laughs> so, you got a lot of history here. <laughs> but now, but we just want to, we need, so you need a resolution from us. Yes. Okay. So we need, we know that we will work on that and get that for, you know, going for the next meetings. And, yeah, um, and I do want to thank Joe Doherty with caring because without caring and Joe, we wouldn't have been able to get come on up. to where we are. Come on. Thanks. You're welcome. We're happy to participate. We're happy we're able to fund the first acquisition and hopefully we'll transition the farm over to these guys. Which would be good. But now, what, how did Karen get get involved originally? Oh, Cookie and I were talking one night. Oh, that could be trouble, right? <laughs> and uh, we were looking for a spot for a couple of group homes, and she was looking for a farm. So we thought, you know, we'll take two little pieces, and then our folks that live in the uh, group homes, the developmentally disabled people, can help out at the farm to the extent that they're able. Mm -hmm. She worked to develop the farm, so. That's what you see there now. 
yeah. two small homes, big farm. It's working well. Yeah, that's wonderful. Perfect. Beautiful. That's wonderful. It's absolutely wonderful. We're very proud to have this in our town. We were Thank always you. proud of Reed's Farm. I think every one of us up here had more corn and tomatoes, mm -hmm. watermelon, than anything else that they had. So it was corn was the best. Corn yeah, and corn in their tomatoes. Best corn. I don't know how they got so many tomatoes on a plant that wasn't all that big, but they were good. <laughs> they were good. But no, but yes, we will work on the resolution. Get that done so we can get this done. And how long once you get the where's the state? Where is she? How long once you get the resolution? Do they get to the next level? The next step will be getting ordering the appraisal. So knowing that you support this, um, I'm just going to go ahead and start the process. We have to work with caring. Um, you're going to get the ducks in a row, and then um, you should get an offer by early next year. Um, and it's a, not a quick process. It's like a year and a half, two year process. So we've already done a lot of the work before um, before today. So it shouldn't be uh, too, too too long. No, I mean, our next meeting is October 2nd. That resolution will be printed yeah, and passed. Yeah, we should have it on there then, so. That's great. Well, thank That's you good. so, so much. Well, thank you for what you do out there. Thank you thank for you. thinking of the future. Our kids <laughs> appreciate it. Yes, yes. <laughs> Thanks so much, Thank, thank you, you all. I'm going to put the general public before ours and leave ours. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You have my number. Whenever you guys want to come out, please call. Me. We will. We'd love you to. I want to show you there's so much we're doing and so much that's going to be happening in the next four or five years. That you'll love it. It's good seeing you. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Thank you. All right. you don't remember me, do you? Yeah. He I, does. He'll, he'll get I'm it. He's Bodie's best friend growing up. <laughs> All righty. Is there anybody in the public that would like to address the governing body? Come on down. Okay, and then you'll be behind him. Just your name for the record. We're not going to put addresses out there. Thank you for that. Uh, James Bear Pesh. Um, I have two issues that, that I'd like to address. One is the intersection of Zion and Schoolhouse. Yes. There's a stop sign that's, that's posted entirely too high. It's over 10 foot. State regs said that the, the stop sign should be between um, 7 foot 8 and 8 foot 3, I believe. Well, that public anyway. works. Take a look at that. Yeah. So... That, since we straightened out that intersection, it, it's difficult to see coming down eastbound. It, it's a very wooded street, and then it opens up into this big field, and there's a lot of accidents there. So I would suggest that maybe we could put one of the um, solar-powered flashing stop signs and or even paint stop ahead on the ground would be a big help. Those are good ideas. Okay. Especially the flashing lights. Yeah, I think that would help a lot. Uh, the second is, I, I'm sure you're aware that the uh, Lane County has a, a habit of going around and collecting political signs yes. that they take up. You guys have money out in signs, I have money out in signs. So maybe you could give a call to Atlanta County and ask them to actually abide by the law and not pick up, Fine. not use county resources to, to break the law and pick up signs which are federally protected. They, all can, the, the, the car wash signs and all the, the power washing signs, they leave those and they take up all the, the political they, they signs. They should only pick up signs or take signs down if they're in the tr site triangle. And if yeah. they're not, which I'm sure you're not, yeah. and what they do is they do bring them. Yeah, the, the collection the station, I know that. Field. But okay. So figure I that. got all that, but all right. um, when they go onto private property to pick up a sign, the, the counties, uh, policy is that they have six feet right away which they don't they have an easement to do work six feet and as long as the sign does not interfere with the public thoroughfare it's kind of none of their business so i i would make a suggestion sure that you go to the commissioner meeting i have and i will okay because they control all that we can say this to them yeah it comes from that so i actually told the County Administrator, that I would be filing criminal charges because <laughs> he has instructed the county workers 
to take signs up illegally, and that's conspiracy. So, okay. well, I will and I yeah. will, but if I could get you to make a call, that would that would even help better. We can talk to them, absolutely. Okay. Um, and can't promise you a single thing on that. Oh, I know that for sure. <clears throat> Thank you very much. Mayor, yeah. speaking of signs, I know we all run for, you know, the different offices and stuff, and we put our signs out. I would just like for people who run for office, especially like folks I've seen signs uh, last year or so for school board, we should not have signs at a liquor store for school board. I also seen signs at a cemetery. Please do not put signs at a cemetery. The last thing a, parent, a family want to see when they're burying their loved one is some campaign sign. So let's have a little class, not saying you did it or who did it or whatever, I'm just saying in general, let's have a little class and respect for our kids, you know, put signs at liquor store. Let's have a little class and respect for our family that's greed and greed. Okay. You know, seeing a sign at a cemetery, that I think that's as low as you can go. But like I said, not saying you, I'm just saying all of us in general, let's be conscious and aware of this. I agree. I've seen signs at Veterans Memorials. Right. You, you know, you know what I'm talking about. Yes. You know, and it's still signs from two years, a year or two ago, still in a cemetery. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's not right. Parent, I, you know, I think it just makes the candidate look bad. We the families don't want to see the campaign sign. All right. Thanks. Thank you. Sir. Yes. Your name for the record, please? Carlos Hussain. The third. The third. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Carlos. That was my Township. first one. I picked the township uh, resident. Township resident? Yes, yes. Okay. Yep, yep. Thirteen year township resident. Okay. I got nothing on you guys. Okay. But um uh, first and foremost, Ms. Hughes, congratulations. Oh, 30 you. years, amazing. Um, so I'm just bringing a little attention to my street. I live on uh, 30 Atlantic Avenue. Uh, I'm zoned commercially. So with that being said, Lafayette Construction is there. Another concrete company is there. Big giant trucks go up and down the street all the time. The street, I've reached out multiple times. Now, has the township reached back? People have been good. I am not complaining about the communication that's coming from EHT's part. They have been attentive. They have uh, reached back out to me. But <clears throat> the street literally is starting to erode on both sides. So if you have a giant truck here and me or my wife driving down the street, uh, you got to kind of either wait your turn or kind of get closer to the middle. And I've noticed this is just could be me, could be uh, we're getting closer and closer because the, the nature is starting to claim the side of the road back. The side of the road is, has multiple potholes potholes have been costing me money for years and i've been asking and asking and asking i don't know where it falls if it falls on the businesses or does it fall on the township it's a public road it's, it's a, a public, public road, road so it would be on us right but where the actual okay say their parking lots meet like where where the worlds meet and how they agree um being business and us right uh my street, be it, it's a dead end. People are always three point turning in my driveway. I've, getting, I've had to fill pothole after pothole. I'm just a little tired of going in my pocket for rims, tires. It gets old after a while. I've reached out multiple times. I've just kind of reached my limit. I'm gonna see if you guys could, you know, put yourself in my shoes. I'm in a very small neighborhood. People are literally, <clears throat> if they're have one renter, one guy that's passed away, Skip, God rest his skull. My bar, my neighbor who's about to move down to Florida, I'm like a last of a dying breed on the block, so I'm like the only voice there. So I have two little ones who love to go down the street. Now, if you walk down my driveway, look to the right, nature is starting to claim back the road because there's been a roadblock put there because I did reach out to people dumping that was happening mm -hmm. at the end of a dead end because there's a giant solar field there and somebody, I mean, unloaded a mountain worth of stuff and then the city, and I commend you for doing so, put like a giant roadblock there, like a Pretty piece hard. of cement yeah. and yeah, yeah. So um, that being said, just uh, if this, this street could get some attention, um, it was brought to my awareness that there is a budget of streets that are getting chipped away, but if it could just, you know, little 30 Atlantic, Atlantic Avenue, uh, Atlantic and Fire, if it could get some attention, it really needs some love between nature yeah. and the road just eroding and getting smaller. Tom, can we? <clears throat> I, he's writing it down so I know. Yeah, I have it. Yeah. So they're going to talk. He'll talk to Public Works tomorrow and see. I'll get them out there tomorrow to take a look at it. I and appreciate it. Thank I'll you. Thank you. No problem. I appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Hey, Thank you. you know, I, I spoke to you earlier. I said, that pothole is a tough situation. Yeah. I bust four rims on my street. Mm -hmm. And like I said, I'm glad you came and brought it to their attention, you know, to our attention. But uh, these potholes are just, it's sad. You yeah. know, they, they have, 
Yeah. yeah. In the township, I, I uh, broke rims, tires, yeah. and stripes. I'm in the same boat as you, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, for sure. I, um, and the township's been good. They come in, they do a little patch job, but it's honestly, it's the other things that are. It's gotta be yeah. back to work a lot. Yeah, yes, sir. Absolutely. I appreciate it, guys. Thank you so much. Yeah. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you for telling us. Thank you. Ma'am? Hi. Hi. I'm Bethany. Um, I have a question for you. Um, I was actually here two years ago with my husband and, and that's my son. And what's happened in two years. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, <laughs> pretty soon. He's working on it. Um, so I had written a letter to you guys. Um, we've faced a few hardships. Uh, we started building in your township and it, we're still not in our house yet. We were here two years ago. Um, we had asked for a road vacancy two years ago and you guys had approved it. Um, so if I can read my letter explaining sure. everything sure. that's going on. All right. My name is Bethany Askins and I'm writing to share this journey my husband and I have been on while building our family home in this beautiful town. Nearly two years ago, we brought a, bought a piece of property on Fernwood Avenue, full of dreams of raising our little family here in Egg Harbor Township. We never imagined the twists and turns the process would take, but we've held on to that vision, excited for the day that we could call it home. I still remember the day my husband nervously stood before your committee asking for your help to vacate two paper roads so that we can meet Pineland's requirements and build our home. I was in the audience 14 weeks pregnant at the time, cheering him on and hoping for the best. When you approved the vacation of the roads, we were over the moon walking out of town hall that night with hearts full of excitement, believing our dream was finally within reach. Fast forward to today, our son is almost a year old and we're closer than ever to moving in. But it's been a long road filled with many obstacles, but this final hurdle has been especially tough. We understand the township's requirement to place curb and sidewalk, but the additional unexpected cost to widen and repave the road has become a significant financial challenge. We've received estimates and they've all come in around $30,000, far more than we anticipated and frankly, a cost that we're struggling to cover. To add to this challenge, both neighboring properties on either side of ours currently don't have curb, sidewalk, or a widened road. It leaves us wondering if there's any room or flexibility or assistance in how we can approach these improvements given the surrounding area. With this in mind, I'm writing to see if there's any possibility for some flexibility. Could we possibly place a curb and widen the road, but perhaps forego the sidewalk, or maybe there's an option to make an in-lieu payment to the township? We're grateful for any guidance or assistance you might be able to offer as we try to overcome this last hurdle. My mother always used to say a squeaky wheel gets the oil. And so with her words echoing in my mind, I feel compelled to ask for your help. We've come so far and we're so close to making this dream a reality for our family. Your support means the world to us. Thank you for your time and consideration. Good. That was very good. Thank you. I wrote um, it during nap time. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have much quiet time. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> no. um, I think what we can do is talk about it. I think we need to talk to our engineer and take a look at the property. Is your address on there? Because I don't want to say it on the record. Yeah. I'm just so I actually to not do that printed some Google photos. Um, Perfect. I believe um, this is our builder, too. Sure. Thanks. You want me to? Yes. Yeah. I'm the builder trying to help everyone. Could you just give us your name, please, and go to the My name's Mike Dare from Jersey Shore Modular Homes, trying to help them get into their house. And I've been building for 24 years. Mm -hmm. And curb sidewalks, I've seen it. Sure. It does happen. Not every town requires it, but we're getting more and more. This particular street, I'm not sure because the planning, I'm just trying to figure out the planning on Ferd, but for a mile on their side of the street, there's two houses that have a sidewalk and a widened road, and all the rest of the houses have none. On the other side, there's a few sidewalks. Then it goes up to the one corner, there's nothing, goes to the other corner, there's nothing for this mile. And I'm trying to figure out, you know, what what is the planning thought process on this street? Because it's not like it's a it's not like where you're gonna walk around the street. No. Mainly and mostly, I have never in twenty four years had a town say, You have to pay for widening a public street. That's that's I was surprised at that. I was surprised at that one too. I'm like, we met the engineer out Curb there. Curb sidewalk, I know. But yeah, that's, yeah. That's, we have that in the woods. I was shocked. I'm like, I never heard of that. I mean, because we were trying to get in a lieu of, because there just didn't make sense. There was not enough sidewalks or anything going on. You know, we were trying to get in a lieu of, because they had done that in the past. And then they came back and said, no, we're not doing that anymore. And we're like, oh. And I'm just trying to help them every way I can. Yeah, well, 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 
We okay, can, we're... Tom, let's look into this. Uh, yeah. Is your phone number on here? I can write it down for you. Could you please? Okay. Here you go. Do you have here, a letter? Here, Just here. write, you know, put it on the letter. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, we'll put these two things with the letter. And Thank we'll you. Enjoy. Thank you. Appreciate okay. it. We'll take that. We're going to put all this yeah, together. I'll, I'll get everything. So, all right. And I'll be in good. touch. Tom. Thank you. <laughs> there you go. Oh, hang on. Can we meet the little guy? Oh, absolutely. Oh, yeah. yeah. This is that. We want we him to speak. What's his name? His name's Sawyer Beck. Oh, oh, Beck. We call him Beck? Yeah. Hey, buddy. <laughs> oh, hey. <laughs> Look at that smile. Why do you talk to us? You, you, oh, you got my us. vote, buddy. <laughs> Two years. Yeah. Oh, Sawyer oh, Beck. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. Oh, he is precious. Oh, no, he's never bothered. It's this, no bother. What's up? You want to play football for me? <laughs> yeah. Hey, buddy, what's up? You play Tom, football you for him? You were bright stars today. Oh. Oh, you loved it. And you jump, jump, jump at bright stars? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's wonderful. Oh. Yes. I tell all young folks, who do you say? Three to five pounds. Oh, okay. When you have two kids, they leave you all the same time. <laughs> Spread it apart, have three to five, and make sure one stay at home. Tell us his family. If they all come out like him, sure. Yeah. There you go. I want to see three go. more. Yeah. There you go. Bye. Bye. But we'll be in touch. Okay. Bye. 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 Emergency. Is there anyone else that would like to address the governing body? Sure, to Seeing none, have a motion to close. I make my second. Thank you. Uh, all in favor? Yeah. Aye. Aye. All in favor? Yeah, leave it in and then just wait. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Township Committee reports. Mr. Pauls. Uh, went out to the bridge on Maisel and Summers Point Road. Looking good. The last couple of weeks. Uh, the last couple of days I've been out there a couple of times. Uh, last thing in was guardrails yesterday or the day before. Striping still has to be done. Today was raining, so I guess they canceled striping. Good news is we're days for that bridge to open up. So it's good news for all the residents there. Absolutely. I'm going to go back and talk to a couple of the houses that are near that bridge, mm -hmm. make sure everything's all right with them. Yeah. You know, and make sure they're happy because a lot of times things are on the left. Yeah. You know, not finished, but- Did they do the final punch list, Jim? I don't believe so. Okay. That's the next step, just to get the punch list together. But it really looks good out there. Good. Can't wait till that's open. Ooh. Can't wait till that's open. Mr. Ellis. I didn't get the stat for the last couple months of accidents or uh, in the township, but I think we're doing a better job with police presence. I see a lot of the police cars parked on the side and that'll slow people down a bit. Uh, residents, we have to continue to work on that. I saw a bad accident yesterday at Shore, in front of Shore Memorial, um, Shore Mall. So we just got to slow down and you know, not be in a hurry all the time and respect the other cars. I hope so. Yeah, I hope so. Uh, 1,100 accidents, 1,190-something since January, and it was probably an additional 50 since last couple months. So we just got to observe the speed limits and, you know, just slow down, <laughs> you know. Mr. Hoxton. Well, just as I always mentioned, the fire department's been pretty busy. Well, it's been pretty calm, really, but they're busy. And yesterday at 2.30, that truck fire on the pike, I think everybody realized what kind of volume of traffic comes through and going tangent, because it was backed up. They had to shut down the back of pike. Cardiff was on the ball as usual, uh, and we took care of the problem. But um, we do back up traffic. I think English Creek Avenue from the pike up to Ocean Heights was gridlocked the entire way, but they shut the pike off. And to uh, Spellville the other night, we had a bad fire on Wharf Road. Um, they lost the garage or a barn, and it's two in the morning, and I'll tell you, Bargaintown and Spellville, they're on their game, and we were very fortunate to have our fire department, all five of them, that work together so well. Excuse me, real quick, can I give a shout out to our former school board president in the house, Mr. Gallup? <laughs> Hello, sir. Stand up. Thank you, Jim. Thank you for all the years of service on that school board. 
And I have to say this, Paul, if you hear a cannon go off tomorrow morning, at what time? Eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. Okay. It's a real cannon. But tee off for veterans, golf tournament is tomorrow. We've got 90 plus golfers. It's uh, turning it out okay as long as the weather cooperates, which I'm told it will. It will. It will. Mr. Confer. Uh, yes, thank you. Uh, just uh, real quick, we had the um, they had this BMX tournament in Egg Harbor Township over the weekend. Uh, USA BMX, and as well as the Egg Harbor Township BMX. Uh, it was a tremendous event. There was probably about 3,000 people, hundreds of participants, and they were represented from about 30 different states and actually two countries. So it was, um, shout out to them, uh, great event. We're proud that uh, it was held here and hopefully it'll be back here in uh, four or five years again. That's an amazing Yeah, it was operation. an incredible event. Amazing operation. Um, for me, I, I want to read something into the record because um, I was quoted saying something that wasn't quite the way it should have come out, so I just want to correct that. And then I might ask you to come up in a minute. <laughs> During our public meeting in, on August 14th, I stated the Township Committee had never met with representatives from Atlantic Shores Offshore Wind. I'd like to clarify that both Deputy uh, Mayor Caffaro and I were present for a presentation an informational presentation that they gave to the Redevelopment Advisory Committee on February 6th. I want to apologize for any confusion that that might have caused. Um, and it's important to me and to all of us to maintain transparency and accurate communication with our community. If anyone has questions or concerns about the meeting, please reach out to me or the office and we can let you know what happened. But it was more of a, just a presentation, but we were there. So saying we've never sat with them now really isn't true because we sat in the audience and listened. So thank you for your understanding on that. Now tomorrow, um, if you are on English Creek Road from Wawa to Shoprite, from 10 until 1 or 1.30, 2 o'clock, there's going to be police training going on. Uh, so there will be people from the Sheriff's Office, the Prosecutor's Office, our Police Department, but they're doing a training exercise. So we just want you to know there's nothing to be concerned about. Um, this is training for our police officers and for the sheriff's officers and the prosecutor's office. So anytime you see a lot of police cars in one spot, everybody gets very concerned. So we just want to make sure everybody's that knows this, well, unfortunately this will be airing tomorrow night after it's done. So it'll be over. But if you know anybody or if anybody here gets phone calls, just please tell them it's a police training exercise. And chief, I think that's probably all we need to say on that or uh, yes, basically uh, after the event, though, we'll disclose the nature of what it was about. Okay. Uh, we did do a media release yesterday on it. I've seen that. I've seen a great social media presence. Yeah, there's there's signage. Well. Yeah, so there's you did all out. So And the school does know, correct? The schools know, and it's not just every county police. It's a multi -agency. It's multi-agency, right? Yes. Yeah, so good. And that is all I have, huh? Mayor, as we talked, we've been talking with the New Jersey Transportation uh, Department of Transportation about the Route 40 drainage project out in West Atlantic City. Mm -hmm. um, yes. They're going to have a public information center at our community center on Monday, October 7th from 5 to 8 p.m. Um, anybody's encouraged to come out who wants to know about this project. The, uh, they will be notifying anybody within 250 feet of the project, the length they're doing about a mile of the road as well as we will have it noticed on our website and passed out at these meetings just so we can make everybody aware of what's going on. So that's October 7th between 5 and 8 p.m. at our community center multi-purpose room. Can we do a press release for that? Do you think it's worth it? Oh yeah. I think we should. Okay. I really Absolutely. do because there's a lot of people that are going to want to know and any more you don't know where anybody gets their information. Where do they get their news from? from all different sources so mm -hmm. if we can do another one sure okay. anything else that's all i have mayor john nothing nothing for you do we have need for a closed session no ma'am <laughs> two in a row look at all of us smile <laughs> all righty let's see here what do we have with this is no closed session <laughs> well then you know i i just need one more motion mm -hmm. yes can i have a motion to adjourn please uh, me. I'll second it. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Return.